Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Working Man Reads. Thank you everyone who is new to the channel and who has subscribed recently. I appreciate you. Uh, I think I'm nearing 700 subscribers, which is mind blowing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you liked the video, like the video. If you disliked the video, dislike the video. We're all here to talk about books. So thank you for stopping by. Today is the weekly wrap up, uh, dropping a little late here in the afternoon uh, because I've just been so darn busy, but we all are busy. And the reason why is because last weekend was my wife's birthday and everything went off without a hitch. She had a fantastic wine tour. I watched the girls at home. Wasn't able to really get that much reading done, but I did finish a couple, uh, well, not a couple, but one audiobook, and that was Columbus, Columbus Day. I ended up sending my physical copy halfway through the book over to Jason's Weird Reads uh, so that he could read it for himself because him and I kind of like the same books. So I was like, hey, buddy, you want it? And I'll send it to Canada for you. So I sent it to Canada, and I'm hoping he enjoys it along with another awesome read. So, yeah, what did I think of Columbus Day? It was a lot of fun. Kind of a military sci-fi. Basically, Earth is invaded by giant humanoid hamsters and uh, lizard people. And basically, they're in an intergalactic war. And then the human race gets sucked in. And they're like, yo, you got to help us fight. And long story, uh, you know, it just keeps going and, and going from there. And it's a pretty fun just book as a whole. Eventually, there is a witty uh, AI or um, advanced intelligence type being that they come across, which I'm noticing is kind of a trope in the science fiction genre. And I actually like that trope. I think it adds a fun little uh, section to the story where basically if you're going to have uh, a main character who you're following on this journey or this story arc, it's kind of cool to have like an artificial intelligence that just drops in who has witty banter with the um, main character. The other book that I read that was similar to that was... Bobverse. Bobverse has that too. I think Bobverse is a little better than this one, but it was pretty fun and, and uh, might make maybe like a top 10 or a top 5 sci-fi uh, series to try if you if you like science fiction because it was definitely fun. Nice little romp through a intergalactic war. That was pretty much the only book I finished. I still haven't reviewed it. It's still on my currently reading list on Goodreads, but I'm looking at that right now. Um, my ebook for right now is After Oxygen. Uh, I don't really know why I picked this up. And right now, basically, it's I think it's like a sci-fi horror or like a um, apocalyptic horror type story. And yeah, basically, the ozone is being destroyed. I think in the and we're in the midst of like uh, the characters' days. Uh, where the, it's the day one of the the earth basically being destroyed and I don't know if it's going to be like a global warming type story where we're trying to ser like save global warming and, and like make the earth better again and then like it gets out of hand but I'm really early on in this and and, and I there's quite a few main characters it's pretty expansive but I'm reading like two chapters before I go to bed at night in my kindle so what else am I reading? <laughs> Traveling Vampire Show. That's probably going to be my audiobook. And uh, yeah, I'm on chapter 17. And I have heard widely that this is his best book. That The Traveling Vampire Show is Richard Lehman's masterpiece of his, fi of his career. And if that's the case, um, that'll be good. Because right now I'm on chapter 17. I am noticing it's a well-written story and more put together. Uh, and I do like the coming-of-age style horror story, so this might actually land for me, but we're going to see. It has the layman uh, descriptions of the female uh, body that kind of gets a little bit repetitive, and I find it uh, to be a little bit um, like a crutch of his. He definitely was obsessed with females. Uh, I, I even made a joke. He's like the horniest writer I've ever heard. And it is what it is. I mean, that's just that's just layman for you, I think. So, I'm also, uh, what else am I reading? I am going to be starting this tomorrow. I'm actually reading it with Edward Lorne over at Edward Lorne on YouTube and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be reading Queen of Teeth by Haley Piper. Um, I'm not actually sure what the hell this is about. It's just a new release, and the cover's banging. 
and it's put out by Strange House Press. And uh, yeah, he reached out to me after all that uh, nonsense that we had in the horror community, and he said, hey, buddy, you want to uh, buddy read a book? And he was super supportive with everything, and I was like, hell yeah, what book's on your TBR? And he's like, Haley Piper's new book, and I was like, Psh, I'll order it today. So I have it, and we were just waiting for September, and... Here we go. We're going to do a buddy read. So thank you, E, if you're watching. Uh, super cool of you to be supportive and uh, just helpful along the way. Uh, I am relatively new to all this stuff. I know you've been doing this, I think, forever. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm just here having fun. I really didn't get any new books, um, so I'm just going to continue to talk about what I'm reading. But this is still my story collection, and I will keep working at this and hopefully have a review up for the first three stories. Uh, this week and then I'm also plugging away at shade uh, Chad Nicholas reached out to me and he wanted me to tell you guys that there is some sales going on for this book and also uh, Nightmare his previous book so if you have not read Nightmare now is pretty much the time I think he's not, he's got that on sale until Halloween he told me in a message and uh, if I got it wrong I'm sorry but when I do the review for shade I will give you all that information uh, and, and and get it up to you guys. Um, and I don't know if I talked about this one, but I did receive this, I think, last week. So Cuts You Up by David Blackwood. One chilly night in 1990, Cassandra and her friends went out to a concert, but their plans changed when they fell into the clutches of a near-mythical killer. I think I did talk about this. So, yeah. So what have you guys been reading? I hope you guys had a fantastic week. And, uh, yeah, until next time, this has been Working Man Reads, coming back at you with a video. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.